out here on uh, location with uh, my good buddy uh, Dougie Franklin right here and uh, and his amazing uh, monster truck. Uh, Dougie, how are you today? Um, uh, I'm fine, thank you very much. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear because you know, Doug, last time we were here, uh, Doug said he'd uh, take us for a little spin in the truck and uh, all we're kind of excited about it, so today's the day. Here we are, Doug. <clears throat> well, last time uh, when I made you that offer, Red uh, had my license, and I'm afraid it's been, uh, it's been suspended. For a while, just a while. Oh, my gosh, uh, what happened? Uh, like a speeding ticket, uh, run a red light, have an accident? What, what was it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you had a bad day. Well, I did. I was uh, I was caught doing about 60 mile an hour down a sidewalk. <laughs> I took out a red light. Uh, and actually, I took out the pole. I was holding it up as well. And, uh, and I had a slight altercation uh, with a a few automotive vehicles. A few? Nine of them. Uh, nine vehicles, nine cars. Oh, gosh. Was anybody hurt? Well, that's the... There's an upside. That'd be the upside. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. They was all parked, all nine of them, in a row at one of them uh, BMW dealerships. Some bimmers, I think they call them. Oh, my gosh. You ran into nine BMWs? No. Imelda here, she doesn't run into nothing. I ran over the BMWs, but fortunately, uh, God bless her, I've just got uh, a little scratch on the bottom of my oil pan. Uh, when you're mounting one of those BMWs, uh, you know, up the side, the, the sunroof has a tendency to flip up on you, and that's what happened. It's, uh, the sunroof's come up, and uh, actually, it's right under there. Scraped my oil pan right out. Okay, yeah. It's okay. I hope you were insured for all this, Doug. Well, I was insured, uh, but uh, not anymore. <laughs> I called the insurance company, you know, moments after. Uh, I had a friend's mobile phone in, in, in the mail to there. And called down, and that insurance salesman, he was down there, and just a matter of minute, he must have lived right nearby. He was a perky little fella. He was right down there, and uh, a couple of minutes later, uh, this insurance, insurance adjuster, I think they call him, yeah, uh, yeah. he come in tow. Yeah. And uh, I guess probably about, oh, just a matter of minutes after he was there, this crowd started gathering around. And, uh, you know, as I said, there's a good side. You've got to look on the bright side. Yeah. yeah. And, and the bright side of this was I got some great publicity out of it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I learned something. Uh -huh. You know, you, everything is, it's a big experience in yeah, this life. Yeah. And I, I learned something. I learned that, uh, for example, them poles that hold up the stoplights, they hold up a lot more than the stoplight, I'll tell you that oh. right now. That they hold up, uh, they also hold up the street light, they hold up uh, power transformers, <laughs> and they also hold up uh, enough cable there, enough to power up the entire downtown core, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and there's one funny thing I found, it's, it just, it, it's like it's like a dream, but I can remember it. It's a funny thing, uh, you know them bus shelters? You hit one of them at 60 mile an hour. And when they explode, they make kind of a, a popping sound. It's like a bang. It was just all over. The funniest little sound. It's a weird, well, weird you, thing. Well, you learned a lot. I did. It's You do learn. There's a downside, but there's always an upside. That's uh, what I'm saying, I guess. Best of luck to you, Doug. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate that. All right. Red, thank you. Dougie Franklin, uh, a man who's uh, a little wiser. I am. I am. Not, not, not too much wiser, but, but a little wiser. <laughs> well, you gotta take your bumps. That's what I'm doing here, sitting on this baby, and I can't drive her nowhere. Nine BMWs, eh? <sighs> yeah. I'll tell you, I learned something else too. People don't like them yuppies too much. They were they were applauding oh, when, uh, when they looked at them things wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess it just goes to show you. You drive one of those, all you're doing is telling everybody how much money you got and how little everybody else has. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, you rose above them. Didn't you? I certainly did. I rose above all of them. Yeah. And over them and down the other side. That's the important part. That was. I come out ahead. <laughs> hey, Red Green here. You know, when I finished touring last October, people asked me what I was going to do next. I'm sure they were thinking to keel over. <laughs> and they were wrong. I'm going to be part of a Possum Lodge podcast starting Sunday, June the 28th. Check out the details and how to subscribe by going to possumlodgeonline.com. After that, maybe I'll keel over.